and good morning people. Welcome back to Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2. We are on the second of the sword endings. The final ending to go and do. Nothing really changed to start off with until the fight against Noir and Uni. After that, instead of this sword being used for its intended purpose, Nepgear made a decision and broke it. That sword is no more. Which leaves the question, how are we going to defeat the deity of sin now? We need to go back to Plantoon to find out. There are a few chirpers, uh, well, a few information and chirpers things. So we're going to go and do that with a little bit of light, light heartedness in Lean Box. I think we need it. I think after the last few parts of while, um, we sort of need a bit of light heart heartedness. So just going through the normal talkings, hoping, I'm not expecting any actual items. So let's go over to Lean Box, quickly go through the Raymond Connoisseur, and then go speak to Cave, who's relaxing actually. Um, where did the text box go? <laughs> Anyways, to Cave. Yeah, um, Lep Gear. Good luck with this.
Oh, that's a nip gear. Um, good luck with this. We have seen that Cave can pretty much dodge anything, even people walking, uh, tight crowds walking down the street. So, uh, yeah, water's no problem for her, considering the type of game she represents in the bullet hell shooters. Yeah, she's got some experience behind it. But at least Cave have enjoyed it as well. Might not have been hit, but uh, she enjoyed it. And yeah, a bit of lightheartedness just to break up the seriousness that we've been having lately. So now that that's done, let's go and have a quick meeting about what's going on. Or a very long meeting, depending on how you look at it. And what we're going to do about the deity of sin. How nice to see everyone return. Indeed. For once, I'm grateful for Noir's wasted resolve. Don't tease the girl who signs your paycheck. And you, Yumi. Stop acting so concerned about what happened. I'd like to open the floor now. Let's discuss how we can all come together and defeat the deity of sin. With the sword no longer functional, and with shares not a viable option, this may prove exceedingly difficult. Why were we all in a fuss over that stupid sword in the first place? <clears throat> it's all that dummy Netgear's fault for making us find that stupid thing. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, Miss Netgear. Anyway, bolstering our armies or any particular outpost will be useless against someone like the Deity of Sin. Then, should we forge unique weapons meant to be used only against the Deity of Sin, similar to that sword? But no records of such unique weaponry besides the Cursed Sword exist. In that case, can we not reverse engineer the sword and redesign it to suit our needs? Hmm... Perhaps we could use some Sherisite to mend the broken blade and rechannel its energy. Although, I have a feeling that the shares from a single nation will prove insufficient. If all the nations unite and create one massive Sherisite, perhaps that will give us the desired result. In fact, that may better serve our purpose than forcing one nation to reap away the other's shares. Got it. I'll go and turn Leibax's shares into part of the Sherisite. I will return to Louis and prepare our contribution as well. We made it. One massive Sherisite made from Sherisites of each nation. What has been the constant savior for a lot of things? The mini uh, the miniature Sherisite? got Nebgear gear back at the very start of the game. The show site got CPUs back. So why not one more? A large piece of show site to reforge the blade. Not into the cursed blade, the Geheburn. But into something a little bit more Friendly. It's absolutely beautiful. Nepgear, please come with me if you would. Okay. Wait for me, Nepgear! Uni? I'm going to help too. Thank you so much. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not doing it for you or anything. I just want to make sure you don't screw up and break it, understand? Yeah, if you're with me, I feel like I can do anything. It's our first time making something together, huh? Making neat thingies with Uni. I've wanted to do this for a long time, you know? <laughs> Let's do our best, okay? Yay! It took three days and three nights, but we did it! 
Let me guess. Histoire was in, in charge of the project. Sweet! You got it all forged into an awesome sword then? I wanna see! I do too! The Shareside Blade. Odd how simply reforging a cursed blade can result in something so divine. Actually, we meet a brand new hilt, guard, and pommel too. What? Nepgear kept mumbling about grade or compatibility or cuteness and ended up redesigning everything. <laughs> Maybe I overdid it a little. Overdid it? Are you sure it was okay to go that far? I believe so. The main concern was for the blade to be reforged using Sherisite. The rest is cosmetic. Look at you, modding the whole darn thing. Does anyone know the pain I had to endure the last few days? I'm so sorry. I was super excited to be working with you that I might have gotten a little too focused. It's fine, I guess. But you should learn to take breaks. You weren't the only one working, you know. Everyone says I get tunnel vision when I'm tinkering. But with you around, I don't have to worry. Nutgear, I don't think you understood a word I just said. We will move to act tomorrow. Rest well tonight. So the share blade. Yeah, this blade. And we've got Noir back, Uni back, Bert, Blan, Rom, and Ram. In the graveyard oblivion. Let's get started! Spoil the four, uh, spoil free the fourth ball cap, why don't you? Side of DLC or Colosseum stuff, I think. Actually, I think they're co combined. But yeah, it's her best weapon. Get her burn, red blade, fairly strong. The share blade, blue blade, blows it out of the water. How is it? So, yeah, that is. Nepgear's best weapon. So, and since we're going to Graveyard Oblivion, I haven't actually gone past this point, so I don't need to know for sure. But I'm seeing some differences between all the playthroughs. In the normal endings, the six normal endings, the normal, the nations, the makers, yeah, that's six. Uh, you don't really get anything special. However, in the three other ones, the last three I've done, in the true ending, in, you get access to three areas that you don't get access to in the sword route. Or the sword routes, sorry. In the conquest ending that we that we did, you get access to the Gehaban, which you don't get access to in the other two. You also get access to Blan and Vert's special processor pieces. You get access to you know, Noirs as well, but you also get access to that in this one. 
but in this particular ending, the big thing that you get access to is Nepgear's best weapon. So if you want everything, the best way I've noticed to do it, and obviously I haven't done it in that, I've actually done it in a pretty bad order, um, do the conquest ending first. Con the conquest or this ending first? I would say the, the conquest ending is better, a better one to do, do first. Well, actually, do the normal endings first. Sorry. So the normal ending, the planet, uh, the nation endings, and the maker ending, because they're fairly easy to get sorted, and you can sort of do them one after the other on a single play for it. Then do the conquest ending, because it doesn't require any, any specific share amounts. Just don't go over five, because that will activate another ending, I believe. Yeah, you know, and that might activate the true ending, but I'm not entirely certain. Um, then do the no, because you need 25% in each for the true ending. So yes, do the conquest ending. Then do the tr uh, this uh, this particular ending, which is called the Holy Sword for the share blade. Yes. So the conquest end ending will give you the process pieces. This one will then give you the share blade, and then do the true bla uh, true ending for access to all the areas, and then you use that particular one after you've seen the ending to come back to and do any extra side bits that you want to do because you have access to everything you have got everything that is my suggestion whether you want to do it that way up to you it's your it'll be your playthrough but that would be my suggestion on how to go through it so with that in mind and with that, that said, party coupling, let's uh, get Uni back in. Leave it to me. Come on, let's get going. Because well, Nepgear and Uni have built up quite the um, relationship in this game. Cave has been a mainstay, and well, Falcon. You know what? Since we haven't we used her much. Do? Although I don't think this is really going to last too long in the terms of the fights. Let's uh, bring Tekken in no just for the heck of it. Have I got her best stuff on? <laughs> yeah, I think I do. Have I commanded her up? I have. I haven't given her EX finishes though, so let's do that. Not that we're going to see them, but uh, yeah, let's bring her into the final fight. I'll take care of this. Quick save and off to the graveyard oblivion. Can you take me with you? As I said, haven't done this particular part, so if this is the end, great. If this is not the end, great. We'll get to see a, a bit more. Off okay, we go. Let's go. Nothing? Well, they did say there was nothing here. Not even. Linda and Wertie. Haven't seen them in this particular ending, have we? And that's a unique thing. Fashionably late, but here we are. Yes. Still your normal, um, your sealed form. She looks different than what I was expecting. Maybe. That is definitely the deity of sin. Don't let her looks put you off guard. You will not lay a single finger on our goddess! 
Ah. Brave? <laughs> With the power given to me by our goddess, I can oogle and adore my cuties once again. Ew! Herbert alert! Yucky! If they're here, then... Destroy! Crush! Obliterate! Everything will be turned to ash! Mr. Crazy Robot is just as wild as ever! So you were all brought back by her power, were you? Indeed. You are not worthy of being destroyed by our goddess. We four felons are more than enough. You are brave, aren't you? Did you forget about our promise? What is this nonsense? I would never mingle with ignorant harlots like yourselves. No way! It's no use. He isn't the same being as the one before. All we can do is fight him and free him. Wait, Noir! Please let me speak with him for a little longer! There is nothing to discuss. CPUs are to be eliminated. Come, let your blood rust my blade! Is this all I can do for you now? I... I hope I can win. I... I'll do my best. Boss rush time? Boss rush time. So we're going to get see... We're going to get see a bit more of Tekken than uh, I first expected. That's fine bit with me. Uh, yeah, Fujin Fist. I'll finish you this turn. Did you think that evasion pattern would work? I'll do this gracefully. Time to get serious. This is the true power of a goddess. So this is where you build up your EXE you drive. So we're going to have a boss rush building that up for the final fight against the Deity of Sin. Let's not waste your... We are going to finish this with Brave Cannon. <laughs> Brave Cannon against the CFW Brave, yeah. We're going to build up the EXE drive gauge so first. Be enough. My turn. Uh, you're going to defend. I in my own justice. Yeah. And yeah, brave cannon. Target confirmed. Target set. Playtime is over. No. Perhaps I should have used a giant drill. I hope you didn't underestimate me just because I'm a goddess candidate. Lowly CPU, how dare you force me to bend my knee to you! Uni, end this! But, don't hesitate! Shoot! But this isn't the brave that I know! Does your resolve waver this easily? That... is that you, brave? The promise to bring joy to this world's children. I remember. Right. I promised you that. Then finish this fight. Use force to remove all who would stand in the way of fulfilling that promise. Force. The being before you is no longer me. Rather a tool of destruction that is using my physical form. I'm sorry. I was acting weak. But you're right. I won't let this stop me from protecting the children's future. Well said. Now come! Fantastic. Learn to follow your resolve wherever it may lead you. I know you will let me rest in peace. I'm sorry. 
This is the last time I will give you pause. I'll be fine from now on. And again, I trust you implicitly. Farewell, Yuni. Thank you. Seems he had his fun, so now I can have mine. Are you ready to play, cutie pies? Mm. The sweet, tantalizing abuse told out by my cutie pies. Hey, stop being gross! Pervy dummy! Yes, you are correct. I am the gentlest perverted gentleman in the world. Sir Tricky Perv! Well, he gives me headaches. Stay strong, Rom. We gotta do what we gotta do to this dumb jerk. <laughs> now then, allow me to wash your hair with my tongue, and then braid it ever so lavish. Gross me out! Shut up! I'm gonna cut that stupid tongue off and make sure you never talk again! Snip, snip! I'll again. show you what a true barrage is like! Case brought the scissors for you. I'll do my best! Passenger unit, set! CPU candidate, next year has arrived! Don't really want to use too much more... Offensive cheer! SP, I might you actually have, have to use on. something. There's uh, some, uh... Recovery on Nepgear and Uni. Uh, Nepgear at least. Uh, Roger and Fist. going to use some uh, SP uh, stuff. Do I have anything that does it in an area? It's just single target stuff, isn't it? Ah, here we're doing should do it. Just fine. Ooh. Yeah. Finally, my turn. I'll shoot you with my options. It's my turn. And yeah, you can do the same thing, Nepke. Here, a drink should be more than enough. Let's build up our EC drive gauge. get on to the deity of sin. We saw her in her sealed form. I think this is just by in time for her to fuse with the game industry graveyard. So I don't think we're going to see her too much longer in that particular form. So next time Finishing of this ending? Maybe. We'll find out. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.